So boys and girls, here we are. The Pink Cave has taken on a facelift. Yes, there's media everywhere. There's records and CDs and books and DVDs and all this crazy stuff everywhere. In the meantime, we're going to talk about this black Rickenbacker. This is a 1980, I believe it's an August of 1980. And I got it from a very cool dude named Brad on uh, one of our favorite base sites. And so this thing has gone through some pretty significant changes and had to be put back. Now, it has been told to me that people are looking at me as the Rick Rescuer or the Rick Whisper. I've heard that one too. <laughs> kind of funny. This thing changed a lot. Okay, there is a small route under the back pickup. Uh, the story goes that there was a set of guitar humbuckers in this thing. Don't know why. So there's two holes drilled for toggle switches, I'm assuming, for coil taps. No telling, they weren't here when I got it. It does have a hip shot black uh, rick replacement bridge on it. And uh, the coolest part, it has new truss rods. Okay, the old rick hairpin truss rods are made of pretty lightweight steel. And over time, some of them have issues. Apparently this one had issues, so they are now bright, shiny steel, and they're a little bit stronger than the old ones. So that means that the neck on this thing is ruler straight, which is very cool because that's how you should play them. At least that's the way they're set up. If you don't like them that way, do your thing. I like them flat. Other than that, from what I can see here, this being a 1980, uh, the pickup in the front appears to be from, I would say, the mid-80s. And the one in the bridge position looks like it's from the late 80s to early 90s based on its appearance. So it is what it is. Now the fun part about this bass is its sound. It doesn't weigh too much. The neck isn't too bad uh, as far as profile goes. But as we're going to hear, I'm just going to go through and do the usual standard stuff. It's a little noisy because there's a grounding wire in there somewhere that I'm still chasing. See? So... When I put my fingers on it, it's very alive. But there is a ground thing in here that I have to sort out. So let's go through the standard stuff. So let's go front pickup first. Okay, tone down. What you'd expect. All right, we'll bring that back up. Now let's go to the back pickup. That's really harsh, isn't it? I think, and I haven't been in here to look, I believe the capacitor that chokes the back pickup is still in there. I need to go in and look. I haven't done the little <laughs> mods with it. Drop the tone. you're wondering why it sounds like I'm pushing a hot tube amp, I'm actually using my little trusty SVT here behind me. This is the PF800, the Ampeg, not the SVT. I'm dreaming. This is the PF800. This is the little small guy that does the trick well. Also, the base fly rig is on the floor, and I've got the Sans Amp mod in, so it's, I'm in mode. So I'm not blowing the speakers out of the cabinet, although I probably could. It's a 212 Ampeg sitting behind me. standard kalium strings. Okay, so let's give it some more juice. That's pretty bright. So once again in the middle. So I'm not playing a P bass. Butcher it anyway just for fun. So this is this bass. Yeah, <laughs> it's got some girth to it, doesn't it? Other than what I've told you, 
I'm about to change the pick guard because it's hard to tell from a distance, but this thing has been cut out. There's four little screw holes where there was the humbucker and then of course the two holes for toggles. I'm about to have a new uh, custom pick guard made for it. It will be black so that everything is nice and jet glow. Nice metal base among other things, but of course it can be slapped. Because the neck on this thing is so flat and so straight, it's like a dream to play. And I have the usual Kaliums on here, like I said, that are pretty lightweight, the hybrid strings. It'll cut your head off, won't it? This will cut your head off. Okay, so for standard stuff, since some of you say, don't slap, play the bass so we can hear it. Okay. And yes, it does have a Getty-like sound to it. You know, between this, these, the little box on the floor, the little box behind me, there's your sound pieces. So we're not going to play Rush Licks today, but just so you know, if you have questions about this Rick or any of the others, because there's quite a pile of them around here right now, feel free to fire away. Questions, comments, thoughts, theories, crippling fears. If you are looking for a Rick, hit me up. I'll tell you what I know. And no, this one's not leaving. Until next time, have some fun, play some bass. And as my good friend would say, take care, everybody. Thank you.